everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about my most comfortable shoes for work. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is in collaboration with Ally Shoes, and I can't wait to share more about those shoes with you in just a minute. For those of you who don't know, I am a professor, and I'm a professor in New York City, so I walk to work, there's a train in between, but I walk to work and then I lecture, all of my classes are right in a row. So I'm basically standing and lecturing for about six hours and then I'm doing a bunch of walking back. And so my feet hurt quite a bit <laughs> throughout the day just because I'm standing for so long. And in my previous job, I had a much bigger gap between my classes and they were on different days and things like that. So I really wasn't standing for as many hours in a row and my feet have definitely felt the difference. I want to share with you all the shoes that I am more excited to grab in the morning, the ones that I think look great for work but are much more comfortable. I'm not going to say that any of them are absolutely pain free just because I am standing for so long I am going to feel a little bit of discomfort but I certainly have some beautiful shoes that I put on and after an hour they're really hurting and by the end of the day it's just terrible and then I have shoes that I have a slight bit of you know, just tired feet at the end of the day, but the shoes themselves are quite comfortable. My feet are just tired at the end of the day. I'll be linking all of the brands that I discussed down below, but I'll also explain why they're comfortable so that you can make some smart decisions when you're shopping, no matter which brands you are buying. I'm also gonna link any active discount codes down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna start off talking about flats. I don't wear flats very often to work, but when I do, there are definitely a few that are my go-tos. Some of the shoes that are my absolute go-tos are Rothy's. I have these points in three different colors. You can sort of see them back here, gray and pink and black, and then I also have the loafers. I find that the loafers are a little bit more casual looking. I do, I do prefer the points, but they also have the round toe flats that work really nicely as well. I would stay away from the sneaker or the boot option for work just because that, that particular boot just kind of looks like a high top sneaker. But these other styles I think are definitely great for work. I find them extremely comfortable. These are my everyday commuter shoes. I absolutely love commuting in these. They're machine washable so I don't have to worry about the dirty streets being much of an issue. But I absolutely could just continue to wear them at work because they look great. So absolutely love my Rothy's and I will put my discount code down below. I do have a video all about Rothy's in case you're interested in sizing and fit and all the different silhouettes. I will link that video down below as well. Next up are my Gucci loafers. These are extremely comfortable. There are pros and cons to this shoe and I will leave my review video down below for this one, but they are definitely a really comfortable option and if loafers are what you wear to work, I highly suggest these just for the comfort factor. Plus I think that they look quite sleek. So these are definitely a comfortable option for work. The next shoes that are quite comfortable for work are these heeled booties. The reason that I love these in the winter is because it comes up so high, but it doesn't come up too high that it cuts you off at the ankle, but it comes up high enough that if I'm wearing tights, my feet aren't slipping out of them. These are discontinued, they're from LK Bennett, but I will link a similar version down below from somewhere else, but I really do think these are quite comfortable for work. Also, one of the things that makes them comfortable is they have this slight platform, but I will discuss that a little bit more when I get to heels. And my last go-to flats are these. These are the Ferragamo Vera flats. Some people consider this a heel. It's an inch and it's a block heel, so to me, these are flats, and I prefer a flat that has a little bit of elevation in the back. I think that these are beautiful for work. I find that the almond toe is quite comfortable, and so I think that they look nice for work. The heel adds a little bit of elevation, which is nice. I do think that you can get the patent or the leather, but if you get the leather, you're more likely to get some creasing, which over time will look a little bit less professional. But I absolutely love these. I do suggest potentially sizing up on these, um, but some people find them true to size. I definitely would not size down though, because the patent is a little more restrictive than other shoe choices if you go for patent. And so I find that you it will get uncomfortable at the end of the day as your feet swell a little bit. So now we are moving on to heels. And heels are my go-to choice for work. 99% of the time I choose to lecture in heels and that is because heels make me feel a little bit more confident. I am already generally a pretty confident person but that extra elevation makes me feel a little bit more powerful. They cause me to stand up really straight which makes me feel more powerful. Plus I just think that they look really chic. I absolutely love heels. So for me they are a go-to 
And instead of being something like I have to wear or I feel like I need that, I find femininity to be extremely powerful and I find heels to be a tool of empowerment. So now I'm gonna to talk to you all about ally shoes. These are my ally shoes. I absolutely love these shoes and I'm not just saying that because it's a collaboration. I reached out to them because I thought these shoes were just so fabulous and I really do genuinely think they are great. So there's a few things about these shoes that make them unique. I sat down with the CEO of Ally and she told me that she designed these shoes as uncompromising fashion for today's woman. So today's woman tends to be a little bit more interested in comfort. There are a lot of different options out there. So how do you make a really smart choice that makes you feel empowered? You don't have to wear heels. Some industries probably you feel a little more pressure to wear them, but if you do choose to wear them, you choose to wear them because they make you feel good, but that doesn't mean that they should hurt. So she started with shoes, and Ally is probably going to expand beyond shoes in the future, but she started with shoes because they are the literal pain <laughs> of fashion. That is where most of the pain comes from, so they were a really good place to start if you're gonna create something that is an ally for women, that is helping them out, not hindering them in the workplace. So I really love a shoe that is designed by a woman for a woman. I think that someone who wears heels all the time has a much better idea of what we really need in a heel. What makes these shoes special is not only because they are made of a beautiful leather, but because they have really smartly designed interiors of these shoes. The heel height is perfect, it's three inches, and I just absolutely love the height. But what's most interesting about these shoes is the interior. They are built to have these beautiful arch supports and also just weight distribution. So there's also some padding that is quite interestingly shaped by the ball of your foot. So it's not just arch supports. And instead of just adding an arch support, which is certainly a very helpful thing to have in a heel, these shoes are made to help you distribute your weight a little bit more equally, take a little bit more of the pressure off of the ball of your foot, which makes a big difference towards the comfort. When Samantha designed these shoes, she did so with a foot surgeon to make sure that they were designed in a way to really use that weight distribution and to make them as comfortable as possible. Another thing that I absolutely love about these are the different size options. So they have from size four to 12 and they come in multiple widths. So a lot of times you buy shoes and there's really only one width option or you can get a wide option, but you can also get a narrow option here. And so you can really find the perfect fit for you. I took a five in these or a 35 or a five, and I'm typically a five and a half, so I size down a little bit. I do know that the sizes get a little bit smaller rather than larger when you get up to the higher sizes. So in the middle sizes are basically true to size, but you can try out a pair and you can also do free returns. So they're a really good idea to, you know, try out a couple sizes and find the size that works best for you. And in fact, to help you do that, I have a discount code. So my discount code is chic50, and I will leave that down below as well. So if you buy a pair of shoes with chic50, you save $50 off of the shoes, which is really great. And I find them to be pretty reasonably priced for beautifully made shoes. They're not quite at the luxury level price, of they're kind of in that contemporary brand price point, which I think is really, really great considering how much really goes into the making of these shoes. I also wanna show you the bottom of the shoe a little bit. I have worn them so you can sort of see, but the bottom is really nicely designed as well, just so it has this little bit of rubber. It helps with slipping and all of that and also just kind of makes them really sturdy to walk in. So I've been really excited to grab these and I've been wearing them quite a bit for work lately. I not only find the pointed toe beautiful, my go-to is a pointed toe pump. I just think it always looks really chic and beautiful, but I think that this one is not too much of an extended point. The toe box is quite wide. It shows a little bit of toe cleavage, which makes them a little bit fun to wear. And then the interior, of course, is just so beautiful. I got these in a nude color, and one of my other absolute favorite things is they make them in five different shades of nude, because nude is not a color, right? Nude, of course, is whatever is closest to your color, so having five different options is really nice and they can, you can get suede or leather. So I just think that these shoes are beautiful. The heel height is great. Obviously, all of the interior 
work that's gone on to make them as comfortable as possible is wonderful. I love the color, I love the cut and the silhouette of the shoe, and then I also just in general love a pointed toe pump. So these to me are wonderful and I cannot wait to add more of these in more colors into my collection because I really have been really excited every day that I choose to wear these. I know it's going to be a much, much more comfortable day. The next shoes that I wanna talk about are another discontinued pair, sorry about that, but I will find something similar. These are a Stuart Whites and they were called the Meteor Pump. And what makes these comfortable is this at the top, these crisscrossing straps. Because they put some pressure on the top of your foot, they really help keep your foot in place, which as you're stepping throughout the day, puts a little bit less pressure on your feet. They get a little less tired and so they become more comfortable. So it's not necessarily these shoes, though I do enjoy these shoes. It's the strap at the top that really helps make these more comfortable. The next shoes that I find quite comfortable are these One Dot State Pumps, which I got from Nordstrom. They have a block heel. A block heel is always gonna be a little bit more comfortable, just it's a little bit easier to walk on, but they also have a little bit of padding in the interior, which makes them quite comfortable. And then I like the V vamp on them. I find that to be quite flattering. I will say that these are a much less expensive shoe, and I do feel that when I wear them. The padding is really nice, but by the end of the day, the padding has kind of depressed and, and my feet are hurting a little bit more. But in general, I find them to be quite comfortable and really pretty nice shoes for the price point. The next shoes that I find most comfortable are my Ferragamo Vera pumps, but it's not just these. I also have these Prada pumps, which have the same idea, and that is a platform. I know that some people don't like platforms or they find them trashy and Shay Whitney just did a video and she thought platforms were more for the bedroom than they were for work or just kind of regular life. I disagree to an extent. I think that a very large, thick platform can be unattractive and a little bit, a little bit much, but I find that a tapered small platform for work is generally not very obvious, it's pretty hard to see, and it makes the shoe significantly more comfortable. So with these heels, the platform gets smaller towards the front, so when you're actually wearing the shoe and someone is looking down at your foot, they can't really see the platform at all. In fact, you can also get ones that don't even have this line here, you know, that they have like a piece of suede or something, I used to have a pair like that where the platform itself was hidden, which is also a great way to go. But having that extra bit of, <laughs> kind of fabric of, of leather, of shoe, helps when you are walking, not only because you can wear a little bit of a higher heel without increasing the pitch of your foot, but also because there's, a little, there's something between you and the floor which provides a little bit more cushion to your foot and just in general, I find it makes them significantly more comfortable. So I love a slight platform on a shoe. I find that to be really, really great, especially if you don't have a shoe that is padded inside. And the last pair of shoes that I wanna to talk to you all about are Sarah Flint shoes. There are so many different shoes out there. These are the perfect pump. They're in the 85, which to me is the perfect height. And these have a built-in arch support, plus a little bit more cushion at the bottom and a wide toe box. So all of those things definitely help make the shoe more comfortable. It does have the rubber, which helps with sliding and makes it more comfortable that way. So these are really, really great shoes for work as well. So those are the shoes that I am most excited to wear right now. Those are definitely the shoes in my collection I find most comfortable. I've also discovered as I've worn and tried out a few others, which of my shoes are least comfortable and I'm potentially gonna be selling some pairs I'm sort of deciding. So if you would like to know which of my shoes are least comfortable, please let me know and I will consider filming that video in the future. I would also love to know what are your go-to work shoes? What do you find comfortable? I'm always in the market for new pairs, so please do let me know those down below. If you have a question about any of these shoes, also drop that in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And I also, if I haven't done a review on a shoe and you'd like to see a full review on a single pair of shoes in the future, please do let me know. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much to Ally for collaborating with me on this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.